welcome back to my everything what oh challenge i'm so glad you have come back to my channel to um continue watching my journey this is a journey about openness um vulnerability um just growing and stretching myself uh, beyond what i normally would do so i'm glad you're back today i'm going to be talking about friendships um it's just coming right off a meeting for my small group where we're doing a relationships friendship study and i just thought it was super important to just come on here really quick and just talk about how i how much i value friendships and what you know what i think about them and just give you some insight on that so Oh, where could I start? Oh, I know where I wanted to start. So in my small group, we have been talking about friends and just thinking about friends who had positive influences over you or negative influence. Um, and I was sitting there thinking the whole time, like we're sitting in the circle and we're going around and they're like, oh, name someone or, you know, talk about a time someone had a negative influence over you. And I was just like, Thinking, 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 thinking. And I, for the life of me, could not come up with anything really of value uh, for that. And it, and I was thinking, like, why is that? Why can't I think of it? Um, and I think part of it is because as a kid, especially growing up, like I previously said, my grandmother was a pastor, so we were. I, I mean, I was just raised not to really do any bad things like you know as a kid like I wasn't really hanging out um I just really didn't have the opportunity to even find negative friends really and I just the way I was raised I didn't even want to be around negative people so if I, I don't remember as a kid like just thinking about it, I'm like, dang, I was like, oh, like I was so like, I, I, you know, I already think kind of like an old soul or something like that. I don't know. But like kids that like cursed or um, acted out or just didn't have great behavior in school. Like I didn't even want to be around those type of kids. Like I was just like, uh... Let me sit on the front row, right by the teacher. If the teacher ever get, you know, like back in um, elementary school, the teacher would have like assigned seats. And if she sat me by like a bad crew, I would be like, no, I need to change seats because this, this is not the people I want to be around. So, you know, thankfully, I really just didn't put myself in um, situations where I hung around negative people. Um, and then as I grew up, same difference. If people weren't into what I was into, which typically wasn't anything bad, I did not hang around them. <laughs> so they didn't have the opportunity to rub their negativity off on me or try to influence me to do things that I didn't want to do or weren't or wasn't positive things. So, yeah. That's that's pretty much the history about that. And then as now, as of now, I really value friendships because I feel like friendships are a essential part of like doing life. Like you don't, some people, I mean, I'm in a group where people are like, oh, I just want to be my, by myself. But that's not me. Like, even though I'm quiet and more reserved, I am... And I've always been, and probably because I come from a big family, I'm, I've always been like the more the merrier, right? So I'm not that friend who is like, oh, you're going to invite someone else? I just want it to be us two. Like, I'm not that friend. I'm, I'm a friend who, um, if it's just two of us going out and she wants to invite someone else, I'm like, yeah, bring them. You want to you wanna bring someone? You know, so I'm always like... The more the merrier, we can all have fun. I don't gravitate towards like catty or, you know, negative chicks. So I don't have a problem with like, oh, if you have too many friends, then, you know, they're going to be getting into it and stuff like that. I never had that problem because like I said, I don't hang around those people. I don't gravitate around those people. People that are negative or nasty attitudes, 
they probably don't like me. I don't know. I just never have been in a situation where I've had those type of people in my life. So I don't, I typically don't have to worry about that. But I am the type of person who the more the merrier. Like we can all have fun. We can all go out. We can all vacation. I am a huge, um, I'm a huge, I don't know the word I'm trying to use. Uh... I don't know. I don't know the word I'm trying to use right now. Excuse me. But I'm a huge fan. Maybe fan. This is not the word I was going to say. But I'm a huge fan of like girls trips. I love like having a group of girls. And going somewhere and really bonding and hanging out. And having that time to just like release all your problems you may be going through. Or just regular life things. I love just like getting together. Having fun. Experiencing new things. I am not the person who um I don't want to say use the word follower but I tend to like I can really make my way in any situation I'm not going to be the type of person to be like oh no I can't do that sorry now there are some things that I might be like mm, I'm probably not going to do that but if they're I don't want to say if they're normal because then that's not the right but if they're not just too over the top, too crazy, then I'll, I'll try anything. I'll do anything. I'll, you know, I'm a team player, basically, is, is what that wraps down to um, or wraps up to be. I'm a team player. I can, you know, hang with people who have different backgrounds or different um, or, or a diverse group is what I'm trying to say. Um, I have no problem with that. So I think that's huge. I think it's needed more. I think um, for the people who don't have that kind of community, I think sometimes they think it's not possible, but it is possible. It is possible to have a group of friends that aren't going at each other, who can hang around each other and have fun and build each other up and be there for each other. My friend group, um, we're all entrepreneurs. And when I tell you we go hard for each other, we go hard for each other. And that's just the kind of environment that we have created. Um, we don't even all live in the same city or the same state to just go hard for each other and be there for each other whenever, you know, we need each other. Um, so I love friendships. I think they are a beautiful thing. I think that um, it's it's needed. I feel like it's, it's a needed thing. To, you don't have to have 10, 15, 20 friends. But if you had two or three good friends, you would be, you know, I think you would be doing good. Okay? So, yeah, like I said, I want to keep these videos quick and easy, easy to watch. And I hope you got something from that. Learn something about me from this video. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Olivia J. Hayward, Facebook, Olivia Hayward. Yeah, all those good things. And I hope you have a good day. Jesus loves you. Bye.